Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can use functions in TypeScript. I will also show you how you can use arrow functions to keep track of the this variable. So let's get going. So here I am in Visual Studio Code and I've written a simple greet function that takes two parameters, a first name and a last name, and then says hello, comma, my first name and my last name. So when you call it, when you call it with two parameters, Xavier and Smith, then you will get back hello, comma, Xavier Smith. Pretty straightforward. Now in TypeScript, we can add types to our functions to make it more clear at what we expect of these parameters. So we can say that first name should be of type string and that last name should also be of type string. And in case of a function, we can also define what this function returns. So in this case, this function returns nothing. So we can add a return type void to say that this function returns nothing. Now, of course, we could replace void with anything else like string or number or whatever. But in this case, our function really returns nothing. So let's keep it at void. The next thing that I want to show you is optional parameters. So let's say that our greet function should always have a first name, but that the last name is an optional parameter. Well, in JavaScript, every parameter is by default considered optional. In TypeScript, however, every parameter is required. And if you have an optional parameter, then you should add a question mark. So in this case, we could say that last name is an optional parameter by adding the question mark to last name. So now I can call my greet function without the last name and it will still work. Now, a bit of a tip. If you have both required and optional parameters in the same function, then you should put the required parameters first and the optional parameters after them. That's just a rule in TypeScript. Now in TypeScript, we can also give parameters default value. So here, last name is an optional parameter, but we want to say that if the user doesn't give us a last name, then we will just use Smith as his last name. So I'm going to remove this question mark here and I'm going to say last name is of type string and then we're going to say equals Smith. And this makes last name a optional parameter, but with the default value of Smith. So when I would run this function right here, then it would return hello comma Xavier Smith. And if I know my last name, I can change it Xavier comma something else, for example. Now, just as with optional parameters, if you have a parameter with a default value, it is considered as an optional parameter in TypeScript, and it should come after all the required parameters in your function. So placing last name up front will be an error in TypeScript. Now, the last thing that I want to show is arrow functions in TypeScript. Now, here I've written a simple greeter class that has a property first name, which equals Xavier, and it has a method called say hello that outputs this to the console. It says hello, comma, and then the first name, but it does this only after 500 milliseconds of delay. And then below this class, I create a new instance of this class and I call the say hello method. So you would expect that this would return hello comma Xavier after 500 milliseconds of delay. But let's run this code and see what actually happens. I'm going to compile the arrow.ts file. And at the same time, I'm going to run the arrow.js file in node. And notice that it doesn't say hello Xavier. No, it says hello undefined. It's a common problem in JavaScript because that this variable doesn't always point to the thing that you would think it would point to. It's actually rather confusing and you can read a lot about it online. In this case, when I say set timeout, that this variable no longer points to my greeter class, but now it points to the window object. So you could say that the, this variable has sort of lost its sense of scope. Now, in JavaScript, there are all kinds of techniques to mitigate this problem. A lot of people would create a variable self on top of here and, and they would give self the value of this and then use the self variable here. Now, this adds a lot of boilerplate code, so let's not do that. Instead, in TypeScript, you can now use arrow functions to keep your code clean and to avoid problems with this. So, 
In this case right here, the this variable should always point to our greeter instance. So let's use an arrow function for this timeout here. Instead of typing function and then the brackets, we just use the brackets and then we use a fat arrow to signify that it's a function. And that's it. If I now run it again, the this variable will keep its scope. And as you can see, now it outputs hello, comma, Xavier. Now, this is a very complex topic. Just remember that arrow functions in TypeScript can solve a lot of problems. I do recommend that you read more about the this variable if you're developing a JavaScript or a TypeScript application. I will link some resources in the description down below that will help you understand why did this variable changes constantly depending on which scope it is in. But for this video, we'll just keep it basic. We'll just keep it at using the arrow function to fix this particular problem. So I do recommend to read up on the links that I put in the description below. So that was it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how you can use the existing JavaScript frameworks in TypeScript. For this, we will need TypeScript definition files. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.